it's your, it's your, it's your boy. Splash. Cannonball. Come drippy. Oh. I'm a little upset, man. I'm, I'm a little hot. And uh, reason being, I copped some shoes off of a uh, Instagram site. Um, I'm not going to say the site name because, or uh, I'm not going to say the IG because they did nothing wrong. The person who sent me the shoes did nothing wrong. But USPS, man, they delivered my shoes to the wrong address. When they delivered it, they delivered it to the door, um, not my door, but it had to be signed for. And whoever signed for it signed CM. So they just signed with initials. So right now, I'm a, I filed a case with USPS. They received it. They shot me an email, told me that they received it and that they're going to investigate it. Um, I should have an answer within three business days. So counting Friday, I should know something by Tuesday or Wednesday. And uh, yeah, man, I hope I get my kicks, man, because like, I didn't really cop this uh, that that many shoes this month because there wasn't really anything hot that I really wanted to get. And I know I've been slacking on the videos as well. So uh, that's because I haven't really got anything. So when I was when I bought these and I knew they was coming in, I was hella excited because I wanted to show you all these, man. This is something this is a shoe that I've been trying to go after for a while. I was really excited to get this shoe. I'm hoping I can still get the sh get the shoe. Worst comes to worst. I'll probably get my money back. But man I, I want this shoe man and i don't get it. it it's frustrating to me because i know my address is correct on there like i i hit up the the seller and i know my address is correct so whoever received this package yeah they could have just signed for it but once they saw or opened the shoe up and saw that it wasn't theirs all they had to do was look at the address come to my door drop it off sit it down you know what i'm saying um and today is today is saturday so they had days to do this. So obviously it, they have no plans of dropping it off to me. So I don't know. But wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby. Cause this one's a screamer. Yo, your boy is hyped right now, man. So just like I was telling y'all before about that package that somebody signed for and uh, it wasn't theirs. I was wondering where it was at. It was delivered on Wednesday. Today is Saturday and I filed a case for it and all that stuff. Man, this is it right here, man. I know it's it because I know who sent it to me and uh, I see the name on the back of it. So this is it, man. I went uh, to Lock and Terra Mall. And I did a little mall vlog. So I have two separate videos, probably rocking the same gear and whatnot. I'm going to get to the house, get to the crib, shower because I went and worked out this morning. I stank. And then I'm going to open this bad boy up, give you all a dope unboxing. I got a couple other things sitting over here too. But uh, yeah, yo. Your boy is hype right now. Your boy is happy. So can't wait to unbox this for y'all, man. Stick with me. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Man, yo, I'm hype, boy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. I'll see y'all in a little bit. It's your boy Splash Up Drippy, and your boy's excited. You can tell your boy is hyped, you know what I'm saying? I got my Powerline shirt on. Y'all know who Powerline is. Check him out. I got, myself a One. got my Lakers shorts on, you know what I'm saying? Even though we trash right now, we're officially out of playoffs. I don't care. I didn't come here to talk about that. I am hyped because my package that I thought was lost forever is finally here. And I'm going to unbox it for y'all today. Right now, actually. So, as you can see, it's just a regular paper box. Whatever, whatever. Who cares? Don't nobody care. It's just wrapped in paper. Y'all should be able to tell what this is from the box itself this is my size man this is my first one of this style of shoe 
Check it out. This is a grill for me, man. Kobe 9 Elite size 15. Look at the box. Y'all tell me what this is. Pause the video. Tell me what you think this is before I open it up. Let's see. Let's see if we got some real sneakerheads in here. Not just Jordans. You know what I'm saying? Sneakerheads. All type of sneakers. This young fireman. Well, I mean, it tell you right there. Gumbo. That gumbo. Woo. <laughs> My guy. Now, these are used. They actually smell nice, though, man. Oh, they got a little incense on it or something. I mean, straight up, man. It smell like one of them incense shops. Man, there's nothing special in the box. Just some paper, regular old white paper with uh, Kobe's logo on it. But I do like the box. I'm happy that the person I bought this from actually has a box. So the uh, I got this through the Big Feet Sneaks uh, IG. So if y'all look up Big Feet Sneaks, it's basically uh, Instagram for size 11 and a half and up. And anybody can post on there. They have certain rules of how you have to post and so on and so forth, how you have to ship and everything like that. So um, completely legit. This is my first time using them. And I actually, I got told about it through Big Feet Steals, which is another IG. And my boy Los, who uh, I was in Korea with the first time, he told me about it a while ago too. But this is my first pickup, man. Let me show y'all the shoe. Man, I thought I lost this shoe forever. That's what makes this even more special because I really thought I wasn't getting this. I thought somebody signed for it. Uh... I think I already told y'all the story, but I'll tell it to y'all again. Freaking this shoe was supposed to be here on Wednesday. Today is Saturday. It was supposed to be here on Wednesday. And what happened with dang, this junk is clean. Even though he had them laced up tight, man. He had them choking. You can, like, it's not in bad shape. You can tell it, it's definitely been worn. But I don't think he was hooping in them. Maybe he just got a, dude's got a, a skinnier foot to where he has them tight like that, but. I like mine loose. I'm actually, I'm loosening them up right now. But, uh, yeah, it was supposed to be here on Tuesday, actually. Didn't show up Tuesday. Uh, says it was still in route. Came in on Wednesday while I was at work at like 11, 15 or something. Said it was signed for by a CM, which nobody in my house, my little brother staying with me. His initials ain't CM. My initials ain't CM. So I knew it wasn't us. And the package wasn't here when I got home. So I was hot. I was like, yo, where's my package at? Um, figuring that some neighbors got it. Plus I was super tired that, that, uh, Wednesday night figuring some neighbors got it or something like that. I was like, man, I'll handle it later. Um, the next day I went to the neighbor's house. Uh, my neighbors on the left of me, right of me, and they said they didn't get it. So I was like, all right, shoot. Like, what do I do now? So I called up U uh, USPS. I was on hold with USPS for like 45 minutes before I just hung up, figured out I can, uh, Basically, you have to do a claim or a case. You have to open a case with USPS telling them what happened. So I, I opened up a case. Uh, now, that Thursday, I also went and checked my mail. Now, I had two keys in the mailbox. You know how they put a key inside your mailbox to open up the bigger boxes that are down there if you have a package? One of them I could open, and the other one was stuck. Like, it wouldn't let me open it at all. And I tried, and so I just took it. And then I tried it again the next day because I was like, man, maybe I'm just tired, whatever. Um, and I couldn't open it. So I put it back inside of my regular mailbox and I left a note to the the, the mail, the postman, uh, postwoman, whatever, saying, hey, uh, I can't open this with this key. Uh, there's something wrong with the key or the lock or whatever. And then today when I went, they gave me a new one. Uh, and it was in a different box and I opened it and this was in there. So what I think happened was this either USPS tried to finesse me and somebody was like, Oh, I'm copping these. Cause you, you could tell it was shoes from how it was wrapped, man. It was like literally just the box was wrapped. So you knew it was some shoes. So if somebody really wanted my shoes, they could have, uh, and at the post office, 
said it was signed for and just kept it and see if I didn't say nothing about it, right? So that could have happened. Somebody could have been trying to finesse me at the USPS, even though I doubt these cats were wearing a size 15. Or it could have really got delivered to one of my neighbors. They, for whatever reason, didn't want to bring it to my house. So they brought it back to the post office. The post office, in turn, just delivered it to my mailbox. You see what I'm saying? So that's the only two ways I think that it, it could have went. Either that or it was just sitting in the mailbox the whole time since I couldn't open it anyway. But at the same time, why would it be sitting in there if it's signed CW? You see what I'm saying? So it's all confusing. But you know what? I don't care. Your boy does not care. Your boy has the kicks right now. It's got that gold. This is my first Jordan 9. Yeah, ever. Like, I've, I've never had one of these. And this is the gumbo colorway. The, one, the other two that I want, man, I want the... Uh, I want the Christmas joints, the, the red and white ones. I want the Black History Month, where they're just black and white. Uh, this is, if I'm not mistaken, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but the first shoe that Kobe did the super high top like this, and it was after his uh, Achilles tear. And that's what this symbolizes on the back. But he actually has it on the back. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's got nine of them on the back of this. But on my tens, let me grab these tens. He only has it on the back of the left shoe, and it's just four of them. So he started doing the super high tops after he had this that Achilles. Um, it was his Achilles, or it, anyway, it was whatever was on the back is right here in this section, whatever that is. You know what I'm saying? It uh, ruptured, tore, whatever. He got it repaired. And then he wanted a shoe that was more high top. He wanted a high top option, basically. Um, which I don't think that would have changed anything if he was wearing this instead of that. I think old age really just got the the best of him, man. It gets the best of every NBA player. It gets the best of all of us. So, But to show you some details of the shoe, you got that gumbo in there. So what I recommend from here on out, if I use that service again, Big Feet Sneaks, which nothing against them, nothing against the the uh, seller, the guy who sold me these shoes, I'm going to request that they ship it FedEx or UPS because I know they're not going to play that. And I've just had too many issues with USPS within the same week. You see what I'm saying? Like USPS is the cheapest way, but at the same time, I didn't even pay for the shipping. Uh, the seller paid for the shipping. But I would prefer to pay for the shipping to guarantee that I'm going to get my package when I when I want to get it. You know what I'm saying? When I'm supposed to get it. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's basically it, guys. That's the shoe there. I wonder, does the, does the bottom, does it glow? Does it glow? I don't know. I didn't even look up any reviews or nothing, man. Let's see. Put the shine, shine it on this bad boy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It looked like it's glowing. Let's turn this light off. Because Gucci got the glow. Y'all can tell I'm happy, man. Y'all can tell I'm excited. Ooh, that bad boy glistening on him, boy. Dang, that junk is bright. Hold up. No joke. This junk is brighter than the uh, than the Watch the Throne of Bronze, man. That, the glow on those, it doesn't last very long for whatever reason. But these bad boys... Dad, go! Dad, That glow is crazy, boy. It looked like the uh, the little green uh monster on uh Ghostbusters. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, turn these lights back on, man. Get these lights back on. Y'all know I go on talking all day long, especially, especially when I'm excited, when I'm hyped. I think this is the first shoe review slash unboxing slash pickup that I did all in one take. Oh, I'm forgetting something though. I am forgetting something. Now, a new segment of my videos that I want to do whenever I do an unboxing, whether it's a new shoe, old shoe, uh, used shoe, DSU, whatever, I want to do a pick a pop now a lot of y'all don't know some of y'all do uh but a lot of y'all don't know 
that I collect pops also. And I don't do videos on pops just because it's like kind of, oh, dang, oh, kind of shining on me. I know I'm nappy, man. I need a haircut, whatever. I know I don't do uh, videos on pops because uh, I see a couple of YouTubers that do that and it's dope, but I just don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm 100% into pops yet. Like I get stuff here and there that I like and you know what I'm saying? I keep it at that. Like I don't have to get them all the time. Like I have to get sneakers, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm more into sneakers and I want my channel to be about that. But at the same time, since I do collect pops occasionally, I want to incorporate them and since I have a decent collection, it's literally right behind y'all, literally right behind y'all. Um, I want to incorporate that with the shoes. So what I'm going to do is a segment called pick a pop. And basically I'm going to pick a pop that kind of either matches or goes with this shoe. And since my pop collection isn't super huge, I might have like, I might have almost 50 of these things. So it's decent. It's decent. You know what I'm saying? It's decent. I, I think I, I might have more pops than I have kicks to be real with you. But, uh, which it should be that way because it's way cheaper uh, to collect pops. But I'm going to pick a pop. And actually, I'm looking at one right now that I think I want to go with this. You know what I'm saying? I think I want this. I think I want to go with this. I think I'm going to go with this one. I think. All right. Let me go ahead and pick a pop. All right. As you can see, the pop that I picked to go with the Gumbo Kobe 9 Elites is Deku from My Hero Academia. Now, the reason I picked this one is for one, I was I was almost going to go with that that Goku up there with the gold hair just because the gold hair kind of matches the the swoosh. You know what I'm saying? But I got something for Goku already that I have on the way. And uh, I don't want to I don't want to use that one just yet. But I picked this one right here just because, you know, he's got that green, even though it's not the same kind of green. Uh, and he's got kind of the, like the multicolor thing going. He's got the dark green hair. He's got the lighter green suit. He's got the red. The hits of red in the shoes, just like uh, hits of red in this shoe here. Um and I feel like Deku, My Hero Academia pop, the this is the battle Deku actually, um, goes really dope with the shoe. You know what I'm saying? And you guys let me know if you want to see my, my entire uh, pop collection. You can see a little bit of it right now. But um, yeah, most definitely uh, I like this combination right here. Now, does that mean I'm going to be carrying around... Deku in my pocket when I'm rocking these no I'm just strictly doing this so that way I could show you guys my pop collection and mix it with the shoes man because they're both things that I, I enjoy collecting so y'all check it out um check it out you guys are checking it out if you're watching it already <laughs> you guys check out my other videos uh it's your boy Splash I'm Drippy make sure you like comment subscribe tell me if you enjoyed this tell me if you like the pick a pop um Thing that I'm doing and if you want want me to do that more uh, with all of my uh, sneaker unboxings or if you guys just strictly want the kicks all right hope all of y'all have a blessed day man uh, hope you're having a great weekend hopefully this will be up either Saturday night or Sunday morning something like that but you guys continue doing what you're doing out there have a good one keep your head up I don't know why I'm getting all encouraging but I guess somebody might need it out there but it's your boy Splash, I'm Drippy. Deuces!